Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Hi friends, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's time to say goodbye to our bright and cheerful jellyfish theme for October and it's that time of the month to set up our bullet journal to welcome the new month. So in today's video, we will be setting up my bullet journal for November 2024. And now, without further ado, let's start planning. So the theme that I'm going for this month is a Hello Kitty and Autumn theme. It's been a while since I last did a Sanrio theme setup, so we're going to make a Hello Kitty theme for this month. And since November is the autumn season, I decided to draw Hello Kitty in her cute autumn outfit with her little jacket, scarf, and hat, and also being surrounded by falling autumn leaves. And speaking of autumn, I wanted to let you all know that I'll be going to Korea during this beautiful season to see the autumn trees. I'll be going with a friend of mine on this Korea trip and we're going to visit Seoul and Busan. Mm, I've always wanted to go to Korea ever since I got into the world of K-pop and K-dramas and I'm honestly really excited for this trip. And oh yeah, besides wanting to share about my Korea trip, I also wanted to share about my recent Halloween and Autumn shop update on my shop Looting Shop. For this shop update, I have designed two sticker sheets. One is a Halloween theme and the other one is Autumn theme. So if you like some cute stickers for Halloween or Autumn, be sure to visit my shop at lootingshop.com. The link to the shop is in the description box below. Thank you for listening to me share about my shop. And now, where are we? Ah yes, the cover page. So for my cover page, I drew Hello Kitty with a thick brown fineliner to give it that extra cuteness. And most of the clothing pieces worn by Hello Kitty were colored using my brush pens, but then I decided to use Notebook Therapy's Suki Maple Journey washi tape set from last year to make her little jacket. And I kind of feel like I'm a fashion designer when I'm cutting the washi tapes for her jacket. And then, after I'm done with her outfit, I use the acrylic markers to draw pumpkins and the falling autumn leaves. And lastly, to complete the cover page, I wrote the word November using this two-tone calligraphy style and decorated the top and bottom of the page with this lace style washi tape. And now, the page on the left is going to be my monthly log, which is basically like the overview of the entire month. I did the title with the two-tone calligraphy style again, but this time with a washi tape as the background. And then I just drew a calendar below the title, made a little notes section below the calendar, and decorated the empty spaces with another Hello Kitty drawing and some autumn leaves. And um, as I'm making this monthly log, I honestly can't believe how fast this year has gone. It's already the second last month of 2024, and looking back, I feel so grateful for everything that's happened. In this one year, I watched my YouTube grow, and also I've successfully launched my shop website, which were both really amazing. But the highlight was definitely being invited to a YouTube workshop at Google Singapore, which was such a dream come true to me. So to document all these grateful moments and reflect how far I've come, I joined a class about gratitude journaling on Skillshare. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry experts across drawing and painting, crafts, illustration, productivity, and so much more. This fall, I want to practice gratitude journaling, so I took a class titled Introduction to Gratitude Journaling by Helen Colebrook. In this course, I learned how to decorate my journal and what to write to capture those special moments. I even created a journal spread dedicated to my experience at the YouTube workshop and I honestly had so much fun in expressing my creativity and it also makes me so happy to look back on that special day. So, if you're looking for a way to nurture your creativity or enrich your daily life, Skillshare is a great place to start. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Once again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And ta-da! My cover page and monthly log are completed and I'm honestly so happy with how it turned out. And now, 
let's get back to setting up my mood and habit tracker for the month. So as usual, the left page is going to be my mood tracker and the right page is going to be my habit tracker. For the titles of both the trackers, I did the same title style as the monthly log, but it's just that I use a different washi tape. And for my mood tracker, I drew Hello Kitty holding an autumn leaf in her hand at the bottom right corner of the page and drew 30 different autumn leaves for all the 30 days of the month of November. Mm, it's been quite a while since I drew so much for my mood tracker, but I'm honestly really happy with how cute it turned out. It's definitely in my top 3 list of my favorite mood trackers made this year and I just can't wait to see how it looks once it's all filled out. And moving on to the next page on the right is my habit tracker. For this month's habit tracker, I went back to my individual calendar habit trackers but instead of drawing the outline of the calendars like I always do, I decided to bring out my rubber calendar stamps that haven't seen daylight for quite some time now because they were all stored away in my drawer. I don't even remember that I had these but I did at the moment while I was setting up the title for the habit tracker page so I just used them to stamp out the months and I honestly really love how efficient they are and within 8-10 to 10 minutes, my habit tracker page is done. Now, flipping over to the next page is my trusty budget tracker that helps me to keep track of my monthly income and expenses. So same as usual, I have a table with four columns, each representing the date, the details, the plus sign is for income, and the minus sign is for expenses. Mm, I did nothing much for this page, but I just decorated it with some autumn leaves, drawings, and this lace style washi tape that I love so much. And for the page on the right is my brain dump page, where I usually dump all my random thoughts, ideas, and reminders. But I guess for this month, since I'm going to Korea in the middle of the month, I think I'll be using this page to write down some places that I really want to visit in Korea, and also some souvenir ideas for my family and friends. And oh yeah, as for the decoration of this page, I just drew Hello Kitty in her little scarf and some autumn leaves surrounding her and I guess that's it for my brain dump page and also my budget tracker for November. And now, here's the last spread that I'm going to show you all today which is the first weekly spread of the month. Last month, I show you all how I did a vertical weekly spread layout, so for this month, I decided to show you all another favorite layout of mine for my weekly spreads, which is the horizontal layout. So for this, I drew 6 horizontal boxes, the last box will be combining both my Saturday and Sunday, and the empty space on the top right of the page will be where I make 3 sections for my weekly events, tasks, and notes. And as for the decorations, I just drew Hello Kitty beside the big November title and decorated the spread with the lace style washi tape and also some washi tape stamps that show some really beautiful autumn sceneries in Japan. Well, I'm actually going to Korea but I'm sure the sceneries in Korea are as beautiful as in Japan. And now, Here's the final flip through of my bullet journal setup for November 2024. This Hello Kitty autumn theme might be my top one most favorite bullet journal theme ever for this year and I'm honestly so proud for making this. So yeah, if you enjoyed this setup too, please remember to like and subscribe and follow my Instagram at Looting Studio. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you all will have a lovely November too.